Sebastian's world. Estamos a punto de ir al campo, Sebastián y yo, en la aventura de Sebastian's World. ¿Qué me dice Sebastián? Nada. Nada. Un hombre de muchas palabras. Muy pocas veces. ¡Vale! Ok. Perritos. ¡Wow! Tecles. I wish I could ha have four knocks bread. What the heck is four knocks bread? Uh, uh, <coughs> where four knocks that you knock, that you knock bread four times. You knock bread four times. That's after four. Okay. Okay. Oh, Dios, qué ¡Qué peligro! <risa> Sebastián no puede con la cuesta. Sigue, sigue, sigue. Porque su bicicleta solamente tiene una marcha. Una marcha es one gear. Una sola marcha. tengo siete años. Correcto. Tiene siete años y una marcha. Es una pena. Both hands when you go down the hill. I'm going behind you so I can get you on the camera. Go. Well, I'm, well, I'm very good. We'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Sebastian. Come, look at this a moment. I'm going to show you. Let's go and see how we know that spring is coming. Let's go. Up this way, this way, this way, this way. I'll show you. How do we know that spring is coming? Because of this. Mm-hmm. Now, can you see? Come over this side so you're not making a shadow. What's happening? Showing the ants. Yeah. All, you notice all the ground, all the little bits? That's the ants taking out of their uh, nest all of the ground, making space. So in, when spring's coming, they lift all the dirt out. Look at that! Whoa! It's very close, though! Whoa! Dios! Ya va, Dani? It's very close, though! Ah, por ello! Mm. So, lesson for Spanish. What are they called? Ants, what are they called? Hormigas. Hormigas. Oh, I see. Okay. And do you know what they're, they're used for? Um, the nest, the word they use for an ant's nest. I think they say nido, un nido, un nido de hormigas, I think, but maybe they've got another word for it. Okay, let's go into the countryside. My bike is better than yours. It's not. Don't, don't get excited. Don't get over excited. I am not even excited. <laughs> there goes Danny! Ready to kill in any moment when caniches go bad. Oh, no, everyone's having a poo. How do you say having a poo in Spanish? Cagando. Ca cagando, hacer caca, no? Sí. So, Douglas having a poo, how would you say that in Spanish? Douglas haciendo caca. Haciendo caca. Chep. ¿Cuál es? Tu juego de la Play favorito. Resident Evil 5. Resident Evil 5. You like that one, yeah? yeah. ¿Y por qué te gusta? Porque era un juego. Es un juego malo. 
cuando jugaba yo con Cintia, me ha encantado a pelear. Ah, te ha encantado. Era muy fácil, a ver, era muy fácil a dar zombies. Ajá. Por el puesto de normal. Ajá. Cuando empezaba a jugar. Okay, I have to tell you something so you understand going forward about Sebastian. When Sebastian talks to me directly, he calls me Daddy. When he talks to his mum directly, he calls her Mommy. But when he talks in third person about either me or his mum, he calls us by our first names. So he said, when I play with Cynthia, Okay, it's something I haven't quite got used to yet, but I'm working on it. And he'll say to Cynthia, uh, Gordon said that, blah, blah, blah. So, it's just something. And Cynthia said to him, why are you calling me Cynthia? Why aren't you calling me Mummy? And he said, well, you call me Sebastian, so I'm calling you Cynthia. So, there you are. I'm hoping he's going to grow out of it. That's not it? What is it then? Uh, because you're getting older, you, you call us by our first names in third person. Yeah, lovely. Okay. Hoy hace sol, pero está, hace un poco de frío, eh? está fresquito. Into the flies. There aren't many flies at the moment. Not, not, in, not in Spain at the moment. It's too cold. But when it warms up, Flies are plenty. But use my one hand. I wouldn't ride with one hand on the bumpies. The kids, the kids this is only the third or fourth time that we've gone through the countryside with Sebastian on his, on his bike. We've been, we've been through the countryside before, but uh, I had an attachment to my bike and Sebastian's bike was, was tied to it. Now he can go on his own because he's a big boy. Seven years old. And what happened the first time, Sebastian? The first time we went out on the bikes, what happened? Sebastian fell off. I turned around to see if he was okay. And in the act of turning around, I fell off too. So we both fell off at the same time. Oh, oh. Quien es? ¿Qué tal? Sí, bien, eh? Aprovechando el airecito y el sol. Eh, pero está, hace un poco de frío hoy, ¿eh? Ayer estaba peor. Sí. Y, bueno. Vamos, oh, vamos en, en bici y estamos grabando un vídeo para, para luego colgarlo. Ah, sí, muy bien. Bueno. Ya estoy de camino, de vuelta. Muy bien. Bueno. Te dejamos. Sebastián tiene una bicicleta más grande, pero es un poco demasiado grande en este momento. Así que en un año o algo puede usar la otra que tiene marchas, que, que es de montaña, de campo. Right, so what we're going to do, what we're going to do, Sebastian, is this. You can tell us a little bit about uh, Sebastian, because we haven't seen you in Sebastian's world in a long time. So I want you to tell us a little bit about Sebastian, what he's been up to, what you've been up to, and then do the same in Spanish, right? So keep it short and sweet, hilarious and interesting. Okay, no pressure. So what's what Sebastian been up to? What have you been up to lately? So member of the of the other Sebastian's world, it was too hard of saying the words English and Spanish. When it ended, I was almost crying because it was very hard. Which one was hard? Which one? The, of this, of the Sebastian's world when I was seven years old. Remember about that one? It was too hard and very short. So okay. it took a lot. It took a lot of effort, did it? Okay. And it was very, very, very hard. Which one was that one? What did we do in that one? Well, we were practicing English and it's Spanish. Ah, yeah. That, ah, that wasn't that wasn't Sebastian's world. That was just for a video that I did, and I asked you to do some things in past, in the past. Yeah, but that was that wasn't Sebastian's world. Sebastian's world going to be m more light-hearted. So tell me the same in Spanish. Bueno, del video era posible. Y tardaba muy poco. ¿Posible o imposible? Posible. 
Pues no, imposible, ¿no? Difícil, era difícil, ¿no? Y cuando, cuando ya estaba terminado el vídeo, estaba casi llorando porque era tan posible, tan... Imposible, posible. imposible. Uh... Y no me ha gustado. No, but I won't do that again. I won't put you under pressure, okay? We'll keep it light. We keep it a, light. We can make another one, but easier. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Hold off. Now, come on then, let's go. Keep wet. Right, this way, remember. Now, this is where we fell off, okay? This, and the reason that we fell off is because there are big, 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 big gullies off when, it, when it's wet. So, the best way is to go this way. Miss all of that out. We, we went that way and we fell off. So, we go this way and we have no problem. Sebastian is... Well, see, that's, I looked back the same the last time and I fell off. Why am I doing the same thing? Don't look back! Don't look back. What is your favorite word in Spanish? What's your favorite Spanish word? Everything. Give me one out of everything. The one that, that's better than some others. And how do Spanish people say sushi? Um, they can't say sushi, can they? Well, they can, but they don't. They say sushi. Sushi. Sushi, normally, Spanish people, they can't... They, they struggle with the, the sh. That's why they can't do... She sells seashells on the seashore. Give that to a Spanish person and they will die. That, that would hurt... That would bother him when I say sushi. That's not even a Spanish word anyway, that's Japanese. Japanese. Japanese, yeah. What about a Spanish word? Which is your favorite Spanish word? Favorite. For example, do you like the word bicicleta? Which one do you prefer? I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's see. We'll, get, we'll do a word in Spanish and the same word in English, and you tell me which one you like the best, right? So we've got bicicleta or bicycle. Which sounds better for you? Bicicleta, you like the Spanish version better. What about, what about cake or tarta? Which one do you prefer? Cake. cake. You like cake better than tarta, eh? Okay. What about a uh, sol or sun? Sun, you like sun. Oh, English is winning. English is winning by two to one. What about um, grass or yerba? Yerba. Yerba. Oh, equal now. Two and two. Spanish, two. English, two. What about um, the moon or la luna? Which one do you prefer? The moon. You like the moon? Uh, okay. And... What about dog or perro? Dog. Dog. Aha! English is winning. English is winning at the moment. Okay, what about agua or water? Agua. Oh, man. Okay. I've lost count now. He perdido la cuenta. Eh, is that something like three, four to English? I can't remember. Right, what about arbol or tree? Which is, which you, you like tree? Way hey! Okay. Uh, by the way, this is not a, this is not an anti-Spanish thing. It's just the opinion, honest, to goodness opinion of my son. Um, what about pájaro or bird? Bird. Bird. Our English is definitely winning now. Okay. Uh, what about antena? Or antenna. antenna, the English version. Oh, okay. So English is one up to now. Get it? Okay, we're going. We're going to the left here. Okay. This way. This way. Sebastian. I forgot. That's this way. Mhm.
Careful there, eh? brakes all the way. Brakes all the way. Come on, you go and I'll follow you. Oh, you're gonna follow me? Yeah. Okay, it's very crazy. Oh, there's Danny, look, still at the bottom. Are you okay? Yeah. Can I help? No. Don't go until I'm not on my bike. Don't go until I am on my bike. That sounds, that's Spanish. Don't go un until I'm not on my bike. Que no te vayas hasta que no esté en mi bici. That's Spanish version. No. Uh, yeah, put your handlebars for it. English version, don't go until I'm on my bike. It is. Trust me. Trust me, I'm English. Trust me, I know. I am, I am never going to trust. I do not trust. Who? Why? Why? Because I don't like trusting. Okay, go, go, go. You go first. Take your time, okay? <risa> vale Hacia arriba ¡Uh! Dios ¡Hasta luego! Well, it would hurt more if you uh, tried to cycle up Better to walk up, I think What about me? I've got a cycle up and I've got a whole dog, so I can only hold onto the handlebars with one hand. <laughs> so you will fall. <sighs> I hope not. Do you know what handlebars are called in Spanish? No. Manillares. Manillares. I learned that. I knew it and I'd forgotten it and I learned it again. Yeah, I think world number two was crazy. I was laughing a lot. Because I put the wrong stuff. That's right, we put all the weird so stuff in the body, didn't we? I put this thing that is like struggling the heart, where the heart goes. Uh -huh. so the heart is all the way buried in the lungs. Well, so I think the heart might be buried in the lungs somewhere, is it? In between? No, it's not buried, it was under. Underneath, yeah? Yeah. Do you think the man was alive? No, it's not. It's hard to know the right way. Okay. Tomorrow we're going to do more. Okay. Vale. Vamos a echarles un spray. Porque... Me gusta mucho el nombre de, de este spray, ethanol, que en inglés no sería muy bonito eso. Where's the ethanol? Where's the ethanol? Vale. I don't think the camera does know what you're saying. What are you saying? So I don't even know what I'm saying. Sometimes, I don't think many people know what they're saying. 